Hello guys and welcome to Python programming tutorials by Amal's Academy. So we were discussing about different ways to create NumPy arrays in Python. So in the previous tutorial we discussed about the i function. So today in this tutorial we'll discuss about the random function. So if we want to create array with random numbers then we can use this function. And this random or rand function is defined in the numpy random module. In that module, there are other functions also. So we'll discuss four of them here. That is rand, rand int, rand n, random number for the floating numbers. So first we'll see the syntax and parameters. Next we'll see few example for this. So first we'll see about the random module. So np dot random so we'll get many things here so numpy random random number generation so it contains utility function so here we are discussing about these four function rand uniformly distributed values rand n normally distributed values ran f uniformly distributed floating point numbers rand int uniformly distributed integers in a given range okay so first we'll discuss about this rand function np dot random dot rand this function is belongs to numpy library and in that it belongs to random module so random values in a given shape creates an array of the given shape and populate it with random samples from a uniform distribution. So here these are the parameters int optional the dimensions of the returned array should all be positive d0 d1 till dn it is the dimension of array what it will return nd array shape with the random values. So if you want to see the example here we can see np.random.rand 3 comma 2 the array shape is 3 rows and 2 column so here we can see the values random values so np.random.rand so if i mention 5 rows and enter it will give 5 elements one dimensional array if you want two dimensional array Here we go okay with the random values so this is about the rand function next return a sample or samples from the standard normal distribution its syntax is also same it contains these parameter these are the dimension of the return array should be all positive so if we see the example if we didn't mention the parameter it will uh, generate a single random value so using this we need to use it like this so next So random sample size none. So return random floats in the half open interval. Okay. So parameter it is size int or tuple of int. What it will return float or nd array of floats. So if you see the example, we should mention like this. Okay. If we didn't mention the parameter, it will generate a single value. If we give five value, it will create these five values. Okay, like this. Okay, so this is about the ran f. So next, ran int function. So it contains low, high, size, and d type. These are the parameters return random integer from low to high high is exclusive so here low is compulsory rest all optional 
return random integers from the discrete uniform distribution of the specified d type in the half open interval if high is none then result are from zero to low so low int lowest integer to be drawn from the distribution high it is also int optional if provided one above the largest integer to be drawn from the distribution size int or tuple of ints optional output shape d type data type optional desired data type of the result so what it will return int or nd array of ints size shaped array of random integers from the appropriate distribution or a single such random int if size not provided so here we can see the example random random int 2 size is 10 so it will give 10 values so random random int 1 size is 10 so here we can see the values between this range if i give size 2 comma 4 it will return two rows and four column okay so this is about the random function so the four function in the random module so this is about different ways to create numpy arrays in python so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care